bring up Blender's preferences, make sure you are in the Add-ons tab, and search for Mesh Machine. Unfold it to reveal the add-on preferences. At the top, you'll see some settings in regards to the Mesh Machine menu. If you don't want to use keymaps to access the menu, you can add it to Blender's context menus for the object and edit modes. Here is the Mesh Machine menu in Blender's Object Mode context menu. And here it is in the Edit Mode menu. Mesh Machine provides two wrappers for tools of the Blender Native Loop Tools add-on. To use these, just enable this checkbox. Finally, Mesh Machine uses the Y keys for its menu by default. In Edit Mode, Blender uses the Y key for the Mesh Split tool. And so if you enable this, you'll have access to the Mesh Split tool from the Mesh Machine menu instead. With this enabled now, all you have to do is press Y two times to use Mesh Split. In this section, you can enter the name of a matcap that's going to be used by the normal transfer tool to perform a surface check. Leave it empty if you don't want to automatically switch matcaps when using the tool. One way to find out how matcaps are named is this. You need to have tooltips enabled in Blender's interface preferences, then you can just hover over them to see the file name. I like using Machine Tools Shiny Red Macap for this. Next up, the HUD settings. Most of Mesh Machine's tools use a HUD as an interface to allow you to tweak tool-specific settings. The HUD will have hints, which you can disable. You can also change the scale, which works in tandem with Blender's UI scaling. And while I don't recommend it, you can change the main HUD color too. Also, by default the HUD will follow the mouse movement, but you can disable this. Some tools, like Boolean or Stash Creation will time out on their own. If the default timing is too fast or slow for your taste, you can adjust it here. If you are using the Symmetrize tool with its flick mode, you can adjust the flick distance in pixels here. Set up the keymaps to your liking in this area. Check out the videos on the Symmetrize and select tools for details. If the Y key for the main menu is inconvenient for you, change it to any other key. If you choose to set it to the X key, Mesh Machine will give you the option to place the Delete tool in its own menu, just like the Mesh Split tool is placed in there, for the default Y key map. If you do this you can access Delete, by pressing X two times. Note that this will then also change the key for the unfuck tool. Same for the delete plug tool.
In the Plugs tab you can see your assets path, as well as all registered plug libraries. Changing the sorting here, will change the sorting in the menu too. If you want to rename or remove a library, you can do it from here. And if you want to add a new plug library, shift click on the folder icon next to the assets path. Your file browser will open the plug assets location, with your existing libraries in it. Navigate to your new library, and extract it, if necessary. Any valid library will look like this. Copy or move the folder to your plugs location. Then either restart Blender or reload the libraries. The options to the right should be self-explanatory. Make sure to enter your own details in the Plug Creator section, if you create your own. Finally, on the About page you can find some links, and the only way to get product support. All of this is also accessible from the Mesh Machine Help panel. And if you are interested in getting some more plugs, you can click this button.